Yes, hello members. Concerning integration, just a few examples I had done. I just want to further illustrate and elaborate on this topic. Supposing we are given y equals to x to power 5, but I have to integrate. What we do here, we just write that x to power 5. You have to add 1 to the power. Then divide by the new power, which is 5 plus 1. Then plus a constant. So our answer will be x to power 6 over 6 plus c, which is a constant. Let me also go to another example of which you will be able to analyze and get to very well. If I'm given y equals to x to power 7 and they need me to integrate that y all i'm going to do remember y equals to x power 7 so x to power 7 plus 1 i've started integrating over 7 plus 1 which is the new power still plus c so my answer will be x to power 8 over 8 plus c that's integration I've integrated that number, the y. I hope you are getting. Let me go to the last example. I hope you'll get me. And this is very an, an it's it's uh an easy topic to understand. There's nothing complicated in here. Uh, suppose I have y equals to x to power three. And I have to integrate that y. What am I supposed to do? The answer is very simple. From the previous examples I've showed you. I will bring my x, which I have. Then I will say that power 3, I have to add 1. For me to get 4. I will divide by, by the new power, which will be 3 plus 1 which is still 4, then plus a constant. Please don't, don't forget to put that constant. It is a must. You have to put that constant. So the new answer I will have, it will be x to power 4 over 4 plus c, which is a constant. Uh, basically, that c, it's universal. That's what we use. We can't use y or z. That's how I found it to be. So please, if you have liked this video, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, as we are furthering with more videos in the background, which I will show you later. Thank you very much.